We shall do one final problem in book two. Let's factor this expression, x squared plus 9x plus 18. The first amount we get out is, correct, x squared. The second amount we get out is our 18 units. We must find the rectangle that contains 18 units. The first place we will look for that rectangle is in our multiples of 1. It is not there. We will then look for it in our multiples of 2. Yes, here we found 18 in our multiples of 2. It is now obvious how many x's we must place on the side. We must place two x's on the side, and we must place nine x's above. However, does two and nine equal nine? No. Two and nine equals 11. 11. We are only allowed to use nine x's. It is obvious that this rectangle of 18 is not the correct rectangle. Is there another rectangle of 18? Well, let's look in our multiples of three. Yes, in our multiples of three, we found a rectangle containing 18 units. Here again, it's obvious how many rectangles must be placed to the side of our x. And it is obvious how many must be placed above. We can see that three rectangles must be placed to the side and we can see that six must be placed at the top. And we also can see that three plus six does equal nine. Much more important than factoring is the fact that we are achieving our major milestones in mastering mathematics. The first most major milestone, foremost milestone in mathematics, memorization of the times tables. Another milestone is addition facts. But let me emphasize, the greatest thing we can accomplish in our math education with youngsters is a mastery of our multiplication facts. Our factors are, if we will read the distance over, x plus 3, and let me point out, we should recognize that our factors can be read from any point reading the distance across. Here our distance across is also x plus 3. Or if we read it in the middle, our distance across is x plus 3. x plus 3, our distance over, our distance up is x plus 6.